we converse about things we're going to do in the chair and that we'll go fishing in the chair together. I got a perfect spot for us and things of that nature, things that have nothing to do with uh, his, his sickness or anything. This is the story of this my faith does it for me, but I never in my wildest dreams ever thought this would happen. Two hours before the shooting, I was on the phone with my son and my grandson. It was my grandson's birthright. So we, he was telling, he was so excited, telling Papa, Papa, I want this. Papa, Daddy's going to give me that. And I'm like, well, I hope you get everything you wish for, grandson. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We go from that to 24 hours later, my son fighting for his life. It was surreal. And there's nothing that my son did that justifies getting shot seven times in his back. Nothing. No one deserves to be shot like that. No one deserves to be paralyzed like that. In one way, it's a tragedy. In one way, it's a blessing. Because he's still, he's still here. He can still talk to you. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No more racist. Police.